Hey guys, I'm Kels. And I'm Jay. And if you're new around here, we traveled on the road in a bus and then a van. And now we have this warehouse where we're building out a bunch of vans. And we want to show you our newest client build. The lady's actually coming today to pick it up. So we have to quickly film this tour to show you guys. And then we'll get her reaction later. She hasn't seen this build yet, so we're really excited to show it to her. But first, let's show it to you guys. Let's have a look. So the van itself is a 159 inch wheelbase Promaster, tall, but it's not the extended version. It's just the regular length version. So we'll start in the back because that's where all the cool stuff is. So the lady who we built this van for, she has a bike. So the first thing you'll notice in the back is a pull out bike tray, which locks in the open position and can support, I believe it's 500 pounds. So you can fit any kind of bike on this. The way I like to build is I have the electric on one side and the plumbing system on the other, and both of these support the bed platform. As of right now, we're actually selling these units as completely built units. You can take the whole electrical cabinet, put it in your van, same thing with the plumbing. So if you're interested in that, email us or DM us on Instagram. On the left side is the electrical system. So this panel has the 12 volt and the 120 volt all in one panel. The master shut off switch can be easily accessed right from the back. And then all the electrical components are housed within this cabinet. Storage on the bottom, just optimizing as much free space as possible. And then on the opposite side is the plumbing system with the light switch, you've got lights, the water pump, and the tank heater if you ever go into real cold climates. And then the water fill port, and then an external spray port so you can attach a hose, spray down your bikes. And also the Wabasto heater is vented so it can vent into the back area as well. Keep this to a nice ambient temperature if you're ever in cold climates. That way your plumbing never freezes. So the plumbing has 42 gallons of fresh water. And then a real cool feature in the back of here is this little pull out clothing rack. So she'll be able to hang her wetsuits, ski gear and again it's directly above the Wabasto vent for the heater so she could heat it and it would dry all the stuff pretty pretty quick and then on the roof we have a really cool roof rack that i think we're going to put on every build from now on we've got the dometic 12 volt ac unit as well as 600 watts of solar and of course the max fan this thing is freaking decked out She is a solo female traveler. She has dogs, she's a surfer babe. She's a cat, she's single as well. This is turning into a dating profile for her. But the inside of the van, it was really important for her to have natural vibe with pops of color. So we kind of took that into consideration when we were building this out. And when I say we, I mean mostly Jamie. So on the left-hand side, we of course have the swivel seat. We have a lagoon mount on this side. Our client, she works remotely. She wanted to have multiple areas to work. So there's a lagoon mount right there where she can move the table. And there's also one over here on the right-hand side. Initially, it may look like there's no bathroom in this van. This may look like a floor, but it's not a floor. It's actually a floor that is hiding the shower. Voila. So there's different hooks here where the curtain can go, the shower right there, and she can shower outside, shower inside. The best of both worlds. This was our first time working with bamboo and as you can tell we really enjoyed working with it because we went a little overboard and it is everywhere. Bamboo is amazing to work with. It's super easy to finish, it's lightweight. The only downside is it's a bit more expensive but in our opinion totally worth it. Bamboo is considered an eco-friendly material because of how quickly bamboo grows and it was really important for our client to use eco-friendly materials as much as possible throughout this build. We have a huge fridge Dometic, of course, you guys know we love our Dometic fridges. One thing I love about this kitchen is our client was like, is this too big for a food pantry? I feel like 
it can never be too big for a food pantry. So we have all this space here with nice little metal edges here. So yeah, it's looking fresh. This, this van's looking fresh, Jay. Over here we have Firestone clay tile, so it's made of recycled clay. The induction cooktop, some nice little spices here with the magnet. We have our sink over here with our water drop filter. And then over here is where all of the magic happens in regards to the systems. Here we have surround sound in this van. So there's different speakers that are Jamie built into the ceiling. The system really rocks, it's awesome. This is a water heater. You can basically time how long you want your hot water for. So if you want it for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, if you just want to do dishes quick, and this is just a great way to try to save energy so you don't keep the water heater on because that water heater, the electric water heater, can use a ton of power if you just leave it on. We've done it before where our batteries are drained and we're like, oh crap. Just some light switches. Jay always likes to have the different zones. The Victron Energy, this just tells you how much power you have left. And then the Wabasto heater. So everything you can control from right here. So I know you're probably wondering where the toilet is. I'm actually sitting on the toilet. All you do is you lift these cushions up. These cushions, by the way, from Etsy. Custom cushions. Custom cushions? Custom cushions. <laughs> Custom cushions from Etsy. They were super expensive. There was about 400 bucks for the pair of them, which hurt a little bit, even though it wasn't my money. <laughs> it still hurts spending her money, but it's so worth it because these just are awesome and they look amazing. And then right here, toilet. It's the Cuddy. I used the Cuddy on my recent van life road trip that I went on and I loved it. So sticking with that. It's actually insane just how much storage this person will have. I hope she has a lot of things because it's ridiculous. It just keeps going and going and going. Didn't think there was anything down there, but there was. Freaking beautiful. Just look at that. You'd think I'm trying to sell this van. I'm not. It's not for sale. Our other one's still for sale though if you want to buy that. <laughs> so are you ready for my favorite part of this van? You think it's just a mirror? It's not just a mirror. It's not. There's Narnia back there. Look at that. How cute is that? And then back here, this is a queen bed. More storage on the left hand side. Because you could always use more storage, right? Now that this build is done, we can finally focus on our own build and finish the Airstream. We may or may not have an opening between our Airstream and the next build that we have. So if you guys are interested in a custom build or custom cabinets or any of the above, just feel free to send us an email and we'll get back to you. You ready to go show Michelle? Let's go show Michelle. Let's go show Michelle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yay. You're going cool. I love it. <laughs> oh yeah, the secret mirror. That's my favorite part of this whole build. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> the sexy bamboo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Train. By the way, I still have Polly in my hair. It's just Polly that dried and I couldn't get it out, so just don't mind that. Maybe you want to hide your phone. <laughs>